Hi, welcome back to Physics Teacher, the channel that prepares you for the high school math, chemistry, and physics contest from Waterloo University. This is a question from the Avogadro exam, which is a grade 11 chemistry contest. Give it a try, and I'll be right back with the solution. So in this question, we have an experiment where 16 grams of SO2 is treated with 6 grams of oxygen, and then we obtain an experimental value of 18 grams of SO3. And we need to determine the percentage yield in this experiment of SO3. All right, so first to determine the percentage yield, percentage yield is just a comparison of the theoretical yield and the actual yield. So the actual yield, they tell us right here, we get 18 grams of SO3 from this experiment. So let's first determine what the theoretical yield would be. So first, what we're going to need to do is to determine how many moles of SO2 and oxygen there are, and which one is our limiting reagent. So you can use a periodic table, but in this question on the contest, they actually give you the molar masses. So we don't have to actually add the individual molar masses of each element. So for SO2, we can calculate the number of moles by taking the mass, which is 16 grams, and dividing by the molar mass, which they give us as 64.1 grams per mole. So our grams cancel, and we end up with 0 0.25 moles. All right, we can do the same thing for oxygen. So the number of moles for oxygen is we have 6 grams, so 6 grams. Then we divide by its molar mass, which is 32 grams per mole. And we get 0 0.19 moles. All right, so which one is the limiting reagent? So let's start with SO2. And what we're going to do is use our coefficients here, 2 and 1, to determine how much moles of oxygen is required to react with 0.25 moles of SO2. So 0 0.25 moles of SO2. And we multiply by the ratio of those coefficients. So 1 mole of oxygen divided by 2 moles of SO2. And that is going to give us 0 0.125 moles of oxygen. So 0.25 moles of SO2 requires 0.125 moles of O2. But we have 0.19 moles of O2. So we have more than enough oxygen, meaning SO2 is our limiting reagent. All right then, so if we have 0.25 moles of SO2, and our ratio of SO2 to SO3 is 2 to 2, or just 1 to 1, that means we also have the amount of SO3 will be 0 0.25 moles. So we can figure out how many grams we have since we know the molar mass of SO3. So that means the mass of SO3 is going to be 0 0.25 moles multiplied by 80.1 grams per mole. So our moles cancel and we end up with a mass of 20.0 grams of SO3. So that's the theoretical output. What we actually got was 18. So let's now calculate the percentage yield. All right, so percentage yield is equal to the actual yield divided by the theoretical yield times 100%. So what we actually got was 18 grams. Divide that by our theoretical value which is 20 grams, multiply that by 100%, and we get 
90%. So our percentage yield is 90% or answer is E.